Hello and welcome, cat boys, cat girls, and neon binaries alike to my YouTube channel. You may have noticed that some of your favorite YouTube videos on my channel are gone because I deleted them, because I'm insecure about the way that I look and present my content. But I'm hoping this will change. I just said that like a Disney Channel original movie. What are you gonna do? Let's get right into it. Today I'm going to be talking about a cartoon called Booba. And it's Russian, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> You're not missing out on much. No one really knows about this cartoon, and I would not be surprised if you said that you hadn't seen it before, because I sure hadn't. I'm not really here to talk about the cartoon itself, but the impact that the cartoon has on its viewers, because Booba is apparently turning its viewers into literal nightmares. Without further ado, here are reviews of Booba. I'm gonna put that in a graphic, like there's gonna be- Let's just start off with the vaguely normal ones. M. Hazen says, Garbage that gets pushed to my fire. Two people found this helpful. I'm definitely one of them. Another one from Amp says, No. All right, now we're getting into a bit of a critique here. Laura, who is obviously an opera singer who is retired, <clears throat> let me just put on my pretentious uh, opera critic voice. Unacceptable, sickening vocal performance. The vocal alone disqualifies this show. If you have to take a look, do yourself a favor and mute the sound. She sounds like the music teacher who would get pissed at you for bringing a water bottle to class and critiques you on your vocal performance while you're just trying to read fan fiction in the corner. And this is getting way too specific and it's definitely me that was doing that. And now we get to the more vitriolic reviews. Alana Klein says, I'm actually trying to figure out how to block this from my Amazon video to prevent my kids from turning it on again. How desperate do you have to be to wanna block it from your entire Amazon video. Like that takes a lot of work. I'm not even sure it can be done. From the other room, the only things you hear are grunting sounds and vomit-like noises. Sounds like a Friday night in the Klein household. There is no actual dialogue used in this entire show. Good for you for having ears. <laughs> the character continually makes bad decisions that result in him getting hurt or put in an unfavorable situation, resulting in more grunting noises. Just like your marriage. Zing. If you want to dumb down your children, then this is a great show. Those quotation marks really sold the sarcasm. I was not sure that you hated this until you, you put great in quotation marks. If you prefer that the screen time your children receive is spent on things that help their decision-making skills and their overall basic intelligence, then stay away. Stay very far away. 16 people found this helpful. Next review. So this seems like the point where Booba starts taking over households. I'm just gonna skip around through this review a little bit because there are a couple little highlights that I wanna show to you guys. Tasia O oh says, inappropriate for children. Great start. This show is absolutely ridiculous. I learned about this interesting little Russian cartoon from my boyfriend's little sister who will turn seven in October. The O oh in Tasia O oh stands for overshare. Whenever she does something inappropriate, she says she learned it from this show. She recently ate soap after viewing the second episode of the first season. Wow, Tasia, you're getting invested. You already know the episodes and which ones have Booba eating soap. You're a secret fan, Tasia. I can see you. I've removed it from all of her streaming devices and accounts to prevent her from turning it on again. Again. We have someone wanting to block Booba's entire existence from the children of today, which I'm not sure isn't a bad idea. Final thoughts. If you let your child watch this program, you're asking for trouble. Don't let your babies eat coins and soap. Good advice. Unless your goal is to dumb down your child into a brainless, stupid, tantrum-throwing beast. Okay, Tasia. Jesus, don't stunt your child's mental growth with disturbing non-educational media like this. Disturbing. <laughs> 
That's a very strong word. And now my personal favorite review. It starts out like a horror movie. Like you're walking up to the house, the narration is going on, and we know that their child is gonna turn into a demon at some point in the story, but right now we're just kind of looking at the old creaky house that obviously has a demon up the ass crack of every floorboard. Raven says, promotes bad behavior in little kids ages two to three. You can see the horror movie starting to come on with this first line. At first I thought this would be a great choice for my two and three year old kids. They loved it and if they were happy, I was happy until my three-year-old learned how to behave terribly from this character. He never got into stuff before, always polite and asked for things. Two days straight, he would try to climb on the counter, get into fridge, etc., and tantrums galore. And now, the spirit of Booba has left this house. This house is cleansed, like in Poltergeist. <laughs> After just one day without watching, it's like I have my kid back. He's being kind to his sister, not climbing into cupboards and taking this out of his routine was the best thing I could do for them. This house is clean. All right, that's gonna be it for me. I just wanted to show you guys the extreme anger that people have towards Booba as a cartoon. Just give me a like if you want. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I guess like and subscribe, like all the other YouTubers say. That's what the kids are doing nowadays, isn't it? This has been me, Park and Art, reading reviews of a beautiful Russian cartoon that will definitely make your kid go insane.